Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about how to extract the value using regular expression. Yes, we all know that. But this video is quite uh, different because we are going to extract the last value using the correlation or I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this video, we're going to see so where you have a set of values and uh, every time you want to extract only the last value and if it is dynamic what would you do so for example if if it is like the same number like every time it is like five or every time if it is six then you can pick it up right because you can give the number but in some scenarios what happens is the first time you will be getting like only five numbers and in the second time you'll be getting 10 policies or 10 PNR or some 10 values. So every time it changes and this is something uh, a kind of a very dynamic value or a scenario where you would really face some challenges to find the value, right? So in those scenarios, you can use this technique which I'm going to show you today. Uh, by using this technique, you can pick the last value every time even though it can be a dynamic one, but still you can manage to fetch the last value. It's not uh, too complex, it's too simple. So we'll see that in this video. And before we move on to this video, this is me, Awesome Shanmugam. I welcome you all to the Little Slide YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do share the video, give a thumbs up if you really like the video, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to join the video if you want to get more quality content like this. I'm sharing a lot of um, my knowledge in terms of performance testing, engineering, and uh, uh, in terms of DevOps, Git, GitHub, whatnot. So, yeah. so please do consider uh, joining this and yeah, to watch the entire video and this will be very useful to you. And even you can share this during your interview that you can tell them that this is one such wonderful technique you did used using your JMeter and you have fetched the last value, the dynamic value uh, every time. So this is some of the way you can add value to your interviews and even you can use this in your work as well. So now with no further delay, let's go to the video. So uh, I have a script already. I do not want to waste your time in by creating the script. So I have the script already. And what I'll do is let me do a quick validation. And uh, yeah, let me just click on thread group and let me do a quick validation. I will show you what I'm going to extract and what are what is exactly going to be the uh, plan for today. So here, if you see, uh, I have got different product IDs. And just imagine you have like four now. So in other scenarios, what if you have like five or 10 or more than that? So in those scenarios, you can use this technique again. So uh, let's first write a regular expression extractor for this. So this one I'm going to use as my regular expression extractor. So for that, first let me just check it. Uh, yep, so now it's iterating very well and I'm able to get all the values. So now let's create a regular expression extractor uh, by selecting this value, go to add, config element. Sorry, uh, the post processor and then the regular expression extractor. And then I'm going to create a variable. So for now, this is going to be a product. So I'm going to just choose product and then I'm going to paste the regular expression extractor here. Then the template is I'm going to pay if, uh, pick the first value. So I'm adding dollar one dollar. So in the group, it's going to be the first value in the group. And then the next point here is uh, usually we used to give the directly the number like one or two or whatever it is, or if even if we give zero, it will be a random value. But in this scenario, we're going to give minus one and this will pick all the value for us. Like for example, if there is like 10 values, which is uh, matching this regular expression, then we'll get 10, um, all the 10 values. And uh, if it's like four, then it's like four values, right? So, and then I'm going to disable this. So it's going to be using empty default value. And then now we have fetched the value, which we do want to use for this scenario. And let me save this. And then I will use the, um, I'm, just, I'm just going to pass this value in, a, in, a, in another request and I'll show you how does it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on the regular uh, recording controller, add a HTTP, just HTTP request. And on the top, I'm going to just paste this value. And the point here is, uh, if you, uh, it's not just going to be the dollar. Okay, let me let me just show you this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the value and show you what does it prints. So 
we can understand like what are the values like how does this minus one works and let me execute it coming back to the HTTP request so okay in the request it's not printing rightly so let we need to change the value now so if I want to print the value uh, I just missed one thing which is the product underscore one so this will print the first value So if you see, uh, I'm printing the very first value out of uh, all the values. And if I uh, select uh, two, then this will print the second value. So this way we can, uh, so yeah, that's why I'm telling you like, uh, we can, uh, so for example, what I did, is, did here is I'm, I'm selecting all the values, but it's not possible to print all the values at once. So I'm printing each of them as a single values here, like product one or product two. And uh, what if, so for example, if you really know what is the number of the dynamic, the total, the last value, so you can give the values like four or like minus four, right? But what in scenarios, if we do not know that value, so that's the reason uh, we have come up with this. So for that, what you have to do is, uh, let me type the condition here. So it's, going to be a dollar symbol and then a curly braces and then add two underscores and then capital V and then a open bracket and then the extracted value which is the product and then another underscore and then another dollar and then it's going to be another curly braces with product underscore match number so this match number will get the exact value which is the last value because always the match number is something like the maximum or the total number of values say if, for example if you have like 10 numbers then this will print the 10th value and if it is like 4 then it will print 4th value and let me run it and show it for to you so yep let's wait yeah so here we have got the last value uh, for example, I can just show you uh, in this one. If I go to the response data and then the last value. So if you see here, so we have got the F I F W minus zero two, and that's been printed correctly here. So the same way you can just use this. You can replace this value wherever you need it and then you can print it. So again, the point here is you cannot print like if you print dollar product, it will not print the entire value and that will work only when you change this to zero so for example if you change this to zero so this will have just only one value and in scenarios where you print minus one and when it holds multiple values it will it won't print it will just print as an empty value so just remember this because this is one mistake which i did now so just remember that if you are adding minus one you have to add the number the nth number of the product so that will print the number of product because it will have it will hold all the values but it will not print all the values but if you really want to print all the values, then it's it's quite different. You can, you can add a, a JSR 2 to 3 preprocessor, and then you can print all those values. But the requirement here is completely different, right? So we want to print the last value, and that's the reason we are doing this. So the point here is, uh, okay, let me just do a quick recap. So what did I do initially is I went to this particular response, and we wanted to extract all these product IDs. So then I added a regular expression extractor. I created a variable. And then here is my regular expression and then I'm picking from my group the first group and then I have changed it to minus one which is pick all the values so this is one thing just remember we have, we have learned two things so if you're adding minus one this will fetch all the values which, whichever comes under this regular expression and then I'm adding a HTTP request where I have added this statement or this condition which is dollar open braces underscore underscore capital V and then a bracket product underscore dollar product underscore match number so match number is the last number or the total number and then I closed it so this way I was able to print the value so this is very simple but yeah you might need this in some scenarios and again I'm telling you like you can use this in, as a valid uh, challenge that you have faced and you have solved this so just uh, make a note of this command and then you can tell them that this is how I have solved this and it will add more value to your uh, uh, exposure to jmeter and exposure to performance searching you can also tell them that say you can extract 
multiple values rather than fetching one value and you can give that so yeah all these are like some uh, situations where you can tell them that you have handled this yep so with that i come to an end of this video so i believe this video would be very useful to you so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, like the video share the video with your friends and then uh, please do join the whatsapp channel i just forgot to mention to join our whatsapp channel you can find that in our uh, uh, youtube channel uh, links the link section and we have a lot of people who are discussing who are like trying to help you uh, in terms if you face any issues and yep see you in our next video until then it's bye bye and if you're a little slow youtube channel bye bye